As you can probably tell by now, I like to travel a lot. As I travel to each new country or have a new adventure, I just love how I can create a new experience. There are certain experiences, however, that stand out among the rest. Those experiences can be in a form of checking off things off your bucket list or just one of those once in a lifetime experiences. And today is one of those days. You saw that correctly. The cool thing here is um, we're sitting here at the dining area right now. We can actually sit anywhere you want in this entire lounge and you can order whatever food you want. Um, so you don't have to just sit here at the dining area, but it's just more comfortable to eat over here obviously because you have a full table. So while it is really early in the morning and I would have breakfast, you can order whatever you want. It's all day dining. So admittedly, I'm a little bit overwhelmed here. There's just so much going on. Um, there's a buffet station, I could order a la carte. Um, I, you know, I, I just ordered steak. My mom just had ordered a Wagyu burger, and I also ordered a assortment of uh, nigiri sushi, so... It's actually really good. The second meal, I got excited and I already started eating. I got some steak, um, and my mom got a Wagyu bur beef, uh, burger. Not bad so far. Wow, I am stuffed. <laughs> Alright, time for our massage. Comfortable? <laughs> oh, okay, that's really deep. So while I have time to relax here, I just want to at least explain how I got here, uh, how I, I was able to book this first class flight. And uh, simply put, I earned a lot of points. I did not uh, spend the, I think, $9,000 that this flight is worth. It, uh, if, you, if I looked online, and all I did was book it through uh, points, which is I used Amex, uh, my Amex points. Uh, basically, I earned a lot of Amex points through work and through the bonuses I got from my airline credit cards. Just put the, a little bit of description below of the credit cards that I used to, to gain uh, enough points to get on this flight. A really cool thing about this lounge here is from first or business class, you can actually board from this floor. So actually, down there, see down there, that's where uh, just general boarding is for economy class, for Emirates, or maybe every, every other airline. So there's also shops down there. Um, lots of shops, actually. There's lots to do down there. Uh, I did not get a chance to explore the shops at all, or the first floor whatsoever, because we wanted to come straight to the first class lounge. But anyway, the cool thing here is I don't have to go back downstairs to, check, to get into my gate. I'm going to go from this floor straight to my gate. So normally I would be rushing to be one of the first ones on the plane because, well, I want to make sure I have enough space on the, on the bin, bin above for my bags. But since I have my own suite, I think I'm okay. If anything, I'm trying to be one of the last ones on the plane because, well, when are you ever trying to be the last ones on the plane? I think it's just the perfect amount of time because you know I don't want to like shower and rush and then come 
right back to my seat. So I want to be able to relax a little after, after my shower as well. I got the menu. I can order anytime I want here. Uh, and I can order you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, whatever. And it makes sense to the list. Long domestic flights. Uh, 